All right, welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner, and today we are taking a look at the Y Wing Gold Leader from Star Wars from you the suck. Hot Wheels Starships. Includes a flight stand. <clears throat> All right, and uh, here's the back. All right, there's the front. And let's get the boring packaging out of the way. And of course, I brought a few ships out for comparisons. Wow, I love that part. Did you stole the things up there. Can't we get a good paint job, bro? <laughs> Oh, the stand. Uh, okay. I like putting in the, the stand for some reason. All right, Chris is putting the stand together, which we should do early on camera. Shut <laughs> Okay, so here's the, here's the ship. Oh, the ship's up here. All right, there's the ship. There's the side view. Well, detailing-wise, of course the movie's going to look better and for the scale, though, it could have actually done a little bit better with the paint apps. And uh, I'd have to admit though, it's pretty smart using these uh, clear plastic on the engines so that way you don't have the very narrow like plastic. That's a good thing. As a toy, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good for a toy. <clears throat> I just wish the uh, R2 unit was actually painted like some sort of color on, around the edge there so it could just be more noticeable to see. All right, so Looks like I a pimple. brought my JP Star Wars, which of course still looks better. But at least it's not jokingly better. <laughs> Alright. And then I brought here my uh, old Star Destroyer out. From the Sci-Fi Spectacular episode. Star Destroyer didn't make an appearance in the Sci-Fi Spectacular. That's my no, speaker. No, no, no. It's not about the speaker. Oh, maybe. that's not the speaker. Yeah, this ain't the speaker. Oh, oh. This is the... Oh, that's the actual Star... Okay. Yeah, this is the actual Star Destroyer. <laughs> well... Now, the irony here is detail-wise, they're about on par, paint-wise. About paint-wise, they're on par with each other. Alright. And then I brought here brought my Old Earth from my Star Trek ships. Which I think has actually got more detail on it. Because it's got the ship registry and all that, so... Alright. As a toy, I think it's okay. I'm not going to... I don't have to go crazy on it, because price-wise... I'd say I I'd say it was fair. It was about ten. Bucks. Oh, really? Oh, that's it. It was about ten bucks. Yeah, I paid for it <laughs> from Walmart. Uh, okay, then yeah, definitely ten bucks. Okay. Yeah, ten bucks. Let's say I got my money's worth for ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, I got, let's say I got my money's worth. They got that from Amazon. Yep. So I wouldn't pay more than ten bucks for this ship stand. Though I do find the stand a bit weird because instead of using the smart thing, using the flat out square peg, it's got these like little Circular. little like grooves. On it, so it ship can only go on really one way. Oh god! Yeah, and unfortunately, the stand is plastic they use on it, and unfortunately, the stand it's is not, not ratcheted, and it's not doesn't allow the ship to be turned on different angles. So stand, I don't like, don't really care for the stand. But one second. Yeah, I see. There is no, there is zero articulation with the stand. You can only put the ship pointing that way. Let's try it this way. No. You can't even point it that way. You, could, you can only. It's have, only forward. It's only this way. It's only this way. Uh, you can only have the ship on the stand this way. The ship sucks. <laughs> so shut up, other Chris. Well, <clears throat> no. All right. Let's see if this is a trend with the Star Wars ships. Yeah, this one's only one way as well. So with Star Wars ships, they do tend to do that, where you can only have the ship on one way. My Star Trek ships, I can actually turn and rotate them on the stands. It's it's a half moon peg, Chris. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's a half moon peg. I was just looking at the, <clears throat> the uh, game piece. Well, there we have it. I, I still like the ship because, in fairness, if you're a kid, you're going to want the ship off the stand when you're having fun Jeez, with so it. It's so detailed. It's but Unfortunately, it's very hard to put it on and off. But probably a few times on and off, then it'll probably be okay. Well, I I can't complain about it. I mean, the ship is okay for ten bucks. The stand is rubbish, but you know you're going to take the ship off the stand anyways when you're going to have fun with it. But other than that, I say it's okay. So thank you to our subscribers. We appreciate you all, and of course, 
A uh, big, huge shout out, Bella, for those of you who are wondering. No one knows why the battery's there. That way you know about how big the ships are. Okay? So thank you for, to our subscribers for watching, and to our Patreon, huge thank you. As always, thank you for watching. Peace out, my friends.